Hello students, from the following trial balance and other information, statement of profit and loss for the year ending 31st March 2018 as per Schedule 3 of Companies Act 2013. The trial balance, we have land and building, trade receivables, trade payables, 10% debentures, sales, net purchases, wages and salaries, contribution to provident fund, plant and machinery, goodwill. Adjustment. Tax rate 30%, depreciation on plant and machinery at 10% and amortization of goodwill by 24,000 rupees. So we understand from the question that from the trial balance, we need to prepare statement of profit and loss as per Schedule 3 of Companies Act for the year ending 31st March 2018. Now from the information, when this is a trial balance, we will have two items. One, balance sheet items. Two, statement of profit and loss items. We need to identify those items which will reflect in statement of profit and loss. Now to begin with, land and building, trade receivables, trade payables, 10% debentures, plant and machinery, goodwill. All these items has to reflect in the balance sheet. So now let's focus on those items which are relevant to statement of profit and loss. Now students in the question you can see there is 10% debentures rupees 3 lakh. Debentures are long term loans. On these long term loans the company is paying 10% interest that means interest on debenture will be calculated under the heading finance cost which is treated as an expense hence on 3 lakh we need to calculate 10 percent interest this information is given in the question followed by sales is revenue from operation net purchases will be purchases of stock in trade wages and salaries contribution to provident fund these two items are expenses related to employee benefit expenses so we will prepare note to accounts now in the adjustment we can see students we need to charge depreciation on plant and machinery at 10%. So on plant and machinery 10% depreciation we need to prepare note to accounts. In addition we have amortization of goodwill by rupees 24,000. So depreciation and amortization for this we need to prepare note to accounts. We need to calculate tax at 30%. Let's prepare the solution. Statement of profit and loss for the year ending 31st March 2018. Revenue from operations rupees 15 lakhs. There is no other income. Hence, the total revenue will be 15 lakhs. Followed by expenses. To begin with, purchases of stock in trade. The net purchases given in the question is 10 lakhs. Then we need to find out what is employee benefit expenses. Hence, we will prepare note to accounts. Note number one, employee benefit expenses, wages and salaries 50,000. Contribution to provident fund is 10,000. Hence, the total is 60,000. So, show this information in the statement as note number one, rupees 60,000. Next, finance cost. Prepare note number two, finance cost, debenture interest outstanding. That is on 3 lakh, 10% interest is 30,000. So note number two, rupees 30,000. Followed by depreciation and amortization expenses. For this, we will prepare note number three. Plant and machinery on 2 lakh 10% depreciation to be charged rupees 20,000. Amortization of goodwill 24,000 is directly given in the question. Take the total 44,000. Write it in the statement note number 3 rupees 44,000. Followed by the total expenses. So we need to add 10 lakh plus 60,000 plus 30,000 plus 44,000 the total expenses will be 11,34,000 so now we arrive at profit before tax how is it calculated that is total revenue 
minus total expenses three lakh sixty six thousand. On this three lakh sixty six thousand, we need to calculate eighty percent tax expense. That is one lakh nine thousand eight hundred. So profit after tax will be three lakh sixty six thousand minus one lakh nine thousand eight hundred. The final profit after tax deduction is two lakh fifty six thousand two hundred. So that's it with the solution students so when they give trial balance first and foremost you need to identify what exactly you're preparing as per the question we need to prepare statement of profit and loss so we will identify those items which are relevant to statement of profit and loss if we have no two accounts to be prepared we will have to work out that as per the information given in the question Thank you.